Hello, everybody, and welcome to my media museum. Today, we're going to be looking at the Robocop series of films. And back in 1997, Image Entertainment put these out on DVD for the first time. Uh, they were not cheap. I remember really having to bite the bullet. I paid $30 a piece for each of the first three films. And uh, that was uh, quite a chunk of change in my opinion. But early on the DVDs were a little more pricey than what they eventually came down to. It was a long time before you ever saw a DVD for less than $20 in the beginning. So there we are with the shiny disc. Uh, it's got some printing on it, but it's really hard to see when you're filming a mirror you get a reflection so Nothing much on the uh, inside here except for just the uh, Chapter indexes so not a lot to see there And uh, I really thought it was cheap the way they put the barcode on the end It's one of the few DVD releases I've seen that way and yes all three of them were done that way um, but I was just thrilled to death to have these films on DVD. DVD was still new and fun and exciting to get a, a film in widescreen, even if it was matted down letterbox. It didn't, you know, we didn't know that much about screen formats back then, or I didn't know that much about them. Um, so I was just thrilled to death to have these. They definitely look better than the VHS copies that I had and had watched many times before it. Um, I don't seem to remember having seen Robocop 1 in the theaters, but I definitely do clearly remember going and seeing 2 and 3 uh, in the theaters when they originally came out. Uh, again, $30 and all they give you on the... <laughs> and there is a chapter index. But Okay. Um, like I said, I don't want to harp on that too much. Um, but they were just... just gr such a great improvement over the VHS tapes and I know this one took a bit of a hit from a lot of people but I thought it was pretty cool and they should have used the jetpack more uh, that was a really awesome moment to me in the movie when he broke out his jetpack and went flying around but uh, they didn't really utilize that to its full potential in my opinion um, but it is a, woo, bumping the camera, sorry about that. <laughs> it is a great film in my opinion. I like action films, I like sci-fi, and um, you know, a lot of people don't care for this one, but I did. I liked all three of them. And uh, I replaced that first RoboCop with this one here. Uh, which was the MGM release of it the uh, first time and they uh, at least gave us a anamorphic print of it so that uh, was again another big upgrade going from those uh, original DVD releases to these this to this one because yeah there wasn't one for the second and third film uh, they just put out the first one here. And the card on the inside, which I should have filmed it instead of the cover of the DVD because we get a lot less glare. So I'll rehash it here real quick. And uh, But as far as I recall, they did not put out the second and third ones individually like this. Just the first one. Um, but it wasn't long after that that I replaced that version with the Criterion edition of RoboCop, which was the first time, I believe, that the director's cut was released. Might have been put out on Laserdisc. I, Laserdisc was too rich for my blood. I didn't buy into Laserdisc, so I can't really say. I know Criterion was pretty big on doing Laserdisc um, before DVDs hit the market, but... I, uh, this was my first time that I was made aware that there was a director's cut and seen it. And, um, yeah, I liked the scenes, the extra scenes. I thought the director's cut was pretty well done. Um, and we got us a nice little booklet in this one with some more shots that we can show. Uh, 
but it's mostly just text. Uh, there's not really any graphics here to be seen, unfortunately. No extra artwork or anything. But uh, it was really just, at the time, super cool to get our hands on a DVD copy of the director's cut. So I was pretty, pretty more than willing to uh, replace him uh, for a third time. Replace this one for the third time. Even though I spent a small fortune on this series over the years. Uh, kind of embarrassing to even admit it, but when you love a film, it's worth it, you know? And then, one day, I was in Costco, and I seen they had put out the Robo Trilogy box set. And I really wanted upgrades of the um, second and third film. So, this was much cheaper. I think I paid less for this than I paid for just the individual 1, 2, and 3 when they first came out on DVD. So, there again, wasn't... Uh, horribly hard for me to justify the expense to rebuy it again but this is some convoluted packaging here wait till you see this this guy man it it folds out and folds out and up and down and it's kind of kind of something else to um manipulate so you flip that up and you've got another picture of him sitting here in the chair a little more wobble than i'd like to had there. I just bumped it with the thing. I'm sorry. Um, and then that flap folds down. And you end up getting this upper flap. Another shot of him without his mask on. And then the lower flap, which is like forget the name of that guy at T900 or something something I don't remember what his name was but it was numbers of a sort and then you fold it out this way and fold it out that way um, to get your to the disc and if you remove those you see a little bit more of uh, you know his chest and the credits but what I really wanted to look at next here was the booklet. And uh, it kind of just uh, folds in here into this little slot. It's got the same picture on it, so. But it's a nice, nice booklet going over the entire series. And if I recall correctly, the Robocop is only in the Director's Cut Extended Edition on this set. So. There again, um, the original version that I got on DVD and the original MGM release of the theatrical cut is the only time that you could get that. Um, I don't believe you can get it now. I think if you go buy it now, um, I haven't gotten the Blu-rays. I didn't upgrade again, and I'm not likely to, to tell you the truth. Um, but I believe it's only the director's cut that you're going to be getting. Um, maybe they did include both versions on the Blu-ray. Uh, I shouldn't be saying anything without actually having looked into it, which I have not taken the time to do so. But um, for a while, you could not get the original theatrical version on DVD. You could only get the director's cut. So kind of funny. You went from only having the theatrical version to uh, only... To have them both, to uh, only being able to get the director's cut, so it's kind of um, odd history there. The film on media, and then and the back is uh, just another shot of him with the uh, credits for all three films, and a little info about how to access special features. So last thing I have to show you here is I do have the reboot, which I did think was entertaining enough. It got a little bit too political. Um, they were clearly against the U.S.'s involvement in other countries, which I don't want to get political, so I'm not going to really tell you how I feel about such things. But the film did, most definitely. Uh, but I still liked it. I still enjoyed it. It had its good and bad 
you know, things about it. I think it had mixed reviews at the time that it came out. Um, I'll give you another shot of that front cover without the sticker. A little reflection in place of the sticker. <laughs> but we got the DVD on one side and the Blu-ray on the other. And I do like it when they give us both. It's nice to have both included. And then since I bought this at Target, you might have seen that on the slip sleeve there, it came with the downloadable digital comic book. I really can't recall if I downloaded it or not. But if I did, I have no idea where it is. And the back of that's blank. And being that it was from um, 2015, it even says that the code expires June 3rd of 2015. So it'd be too late for me to try and go back and do it now. Another blank back page. And then you had your digital high def code. Um, good luck with that. It's long expired and again, blank on the back. So there you have the RoboCop series of DVDs. And I hope you enjoyed that trip, and I hope you enjoy the movies. Have a great day.